Well, he's a professor with a remarkable record of predicting election outcomes. And despite what recent polls say and what everyone in Washington and on television is saying, this Real Clear Politics poll, including this one, this man is sticking by his prediction of a Trump victory. Here to explain is Stony Brook University professor Helmut Norpoth. Professor, it's great to Good see morning. you. Thank you very much for having so me. So you are almost alone. Yes among academics predicting a Trump win, not because you're coming out for Trump, but because you have a model that you believe leads to the conclusion he's going to win. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this model. How have you arrived at this conclusion? Well, there are two things. Okay, the model is called the primary model. So I take into account primary elections, real elections, how the candidates are performing, and uh, I can track primaries for about 100 years, since 1912. So it's quite a, quite a set of elections. Yes. And it usually turns out that the candidate who does better in his party's primaries or her party primaries beats the other guy who does less well. And so in this election, the primaries that I'm relying on, it's only New Hampshire and South Carolina. Yes. Donald Trump came out on top better than Hillary Clinton in the Democratic race. And that seems so, that seems like a fair yes. measure. And what's the other one? What's the, the other, other one? The other one is what I call the uh, swing of the pendulum, the, uh, uh, the tendency after, let's say, two terms of the uh, White House party being in office, yes. that there's a change. And... Uh, I can track that actually for a longer period of time, for almost 200 years. And that also gives a prediction that uh, Republicans are favored this year. So a lot of us in the TV business make predictions, and we say it, and we say we believe it. But do we really believe it? Mm -hmm. Do we believe it enough to bet on it? Do you <laughs> believe your prediction enough to put your money in a legal way, in a betting market, behind your prediction? Yes, I have. I've, uh, I've uh, gone all in in the Iowa market, which is sort of the oldest prediction market, where it's legal to do that. And uh, I bought uh, shares for the Republican candidate way, way uh, a long time ago, and I'm sticking with it. So with 18 days to go, are you still confident? Yes, I am. Is your wife upset? Does she think you're going to lose the money? <laughs> or does she trust you? Well, it's, uh, let's say it's a $500 max. So it's not, it's, it's not the house. It's not the, uh, it's not the pension fund, et cetera. So uh, it's, it's, uh, but it is something. How much chaos will there be among <clears throat> other professional predictors if mm -hmm. Trump wins? You'll be almost the only person who called that. <laughs> well, I think the only ones are really uh, sort of a big deal at stake are the pollsters. Yes. I mean, because they have, uh, uh, I mean, for them, it's, it's big business. I mean, for academics, it's, uh, it's different. There are actually quite a, few, quite a few colleagues of mine who also have a prediction that uh, Trump is going gonna, is gonna to make it. I'm, I'm not the only one among academics who are doing that. Interesting. But, but I won't mention that because some of them are a little, uh, little leery of that. I bet they are. <laughs> so uh, this is Professor Helmut Norpoth. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I want to spell his name. H-E-L-M-U-T-N-O-R-P-O-T-H. Google him. You can read more. Primary you're going to be a hero. Primarymodel.com. Primarymodel.com. That's it. That's if you're it. right, I hope uh, you'll come back. Well, thank you very much, Great Dr. to see you, Professor. Really enjoyed talking to thank you. Thank you very much. Well, a brand new Fox News poll shows Trump ahead of Clinton by 17 points with veterans. Is this an accurate snapshot of where our veterans stand this morning? We've got a panel of military vets here to break it down. Plus, Oprah Winfrey is ready to make what she says is a huge endorsement. It's not exactly a glowing endorsement, though. People say, I just don't know if I like her. No. She's not coming over to your house way to endorse someone. Crystal Ball and Boris Epstein here to debate that just ahead.